Back in the 1930s, Gerhard Schrader, working for the IG Farben Company in Germany, discovered a set of compounds that interfered with the functioning of the nervous system. They belonged into a family called organophosphates. Well, what does that mean chemically? Organo means carbon compounds. And we have a lot of carbon atoms in the molecule, as you can see here. Phosphate is a grouping where you have a phosphorus with oxygens linked to it. So these are referred to as organophosphates, and they tie up an enzyme in our system called acetylcholine esterase, and when you bind that enzyme, basically it throws a monkey wrench into the workings of the nervous system. Well, the Germans took those compounds and made them into nerve gases. Well, they never used them during the Second World War, luckily, probably because they were scared of retaliation. But after the war, these compounds became widely used as insecticides because they are very, very effective at killing a large variety of insects. For example, one of them, malathion, which is the one we're looking at here, is widely used in North America to do away with mosquitoes, and it is also used in, in agriculture. Well, of course, pesticides are toxic. That's why they exist. But only the dose makes the poison, and hopefully the small amounts to which we are exposed on a regular basis are not particularly uh, disturbing, although there certainly are cases around the world of people having untoward effects and indeed even suicides. Uh, a lot of people, in, mostly in the poorer countries, can get their hands on these organophosphates and use them to commit suicide. But of course, uh, recently we had a tragic episode in India where 23 children died uh, from consuming a school lunch that was contaminated with organophosphates. Well, we still don't know exactly what happened, but it, it is not possible, in, in my view, that it was just the conventional residues of, of these pesticides on the food that did it, because uh, the amount that you need in order to be poisoned by organophosphates is far more than what you normally have as a food residue. However, if, of course, it was contaminated in, in some unconventional fashion, uh, that is either uh, on, on purpose, someone put organophosphate into the food, or can't think of any reason why one would do that, or maybe they stored food in some container that previously had held an organophosphate insecticide. That would explain it. Anyway, it will unravel. But it, it is a terribly tragic story. It just goes to show you that a chemical wrongly used at the wrong time can wreak all kinds of, of havoc. And, you know, as, as we tend to say, chemicals are not safe or dangerous, but they can be used in a safer and dangerous way. And certainly this tragic case in India highlights the dangerous use of organophosphates.